solving absolute value inequality there are two cases we do case one in this video we do case two in the next video case one is a uh, less than so less than we have the absolute value of x minus m less than d so the less than the less is facing the absolute value again the less is facing the absolute value do you know do, do you see that that is pointing at the absolute value x minus n and then this is true for less than or equal to so if you see the absolute value of x minus m less than d so you can break this down into x minus m is between positive d and negative d so this is one compound inequality and then on the other hand if you have absolute value x minus m greater than d the greater than the greater than the mouth is facing the absolute value then you have to break that down into two inequalities x minus m greater than or equal to d just remove the absolute value the other one is x minus m is less than so you have to reverse the inequality symbol and then add a negative in front of the d but that is case two we do that in the next video so let's take a look at case one starting with the easiest example uh, we have x minus five less than two so the less than is facing the absolute value then you put this into a compound inequality the x minus five is now between two and negative two and then you isolate the x in the middle by doing what by adding five on each side right because in the middle x minus five plus five you only have an x and then two plus five and then negative two plus y so you have that and then for the um for the graphs for the uh, number line just draw a straight line i won't write the rest of the numbers i will just write three and seven and since there is no equal then you use a open circle and then x is between three and seven so the interval so this is num num number nine so number line and then we have an interval that is parenthesis 3 comma 7 do not use a square bracket because there is no equal sign so what does that mean this is called a solution set because this is a set of number a set of number of what a set of number between 3 and 7 so let's say you pick a number between 3 and 7 let's say you pick x equals to uh, 6 then you can test these numbers out so 6 minus 5 less than two so you have absolute value of one less than two and this is true one is less than two so that's how you check your work you pick a number in the set between three and seven not including three not including seven and then you test the number out right so that's the first one and then the next one let's do um 2x plus eight absolute value how about this less than or equal to 20. how's that so first you write your compound inequality 2x plus 8 so that is between don't forget the equal positive 20 and negative 20 and then you subtract 8 on each side because the opposite of plus is minus so the in the middle you have 2x 20 minus 8 is 12 negative 20 minus 8 is negative 28 and then you divide 2 on each side so i can write it out for you you divide 2 on each side so you only have an x in the middle so you have x less than or equal to this is a 6 that is a negative 14. so this is your solution set it's not just one solution it's a solution set because this is a set of number between negative 14 and 6 including negative 14 including negative 6. okay straight line negative 14 6 there is an equal so we use a solid circle solid circle and then draw a line between them so that's how you represent express a solution set between negative 14 and 6 including those two numbers square bracket negative 14 and 6 because there is an equal you have to use square bracket square bracket means it is okay to less x equals to 6 and negative 14. all right so these are the two examples let's do two more and then we wrap up this video so the next one we have is uh, let's do a fraction shall we how about one third minus eight less than 10 so the less than is facing the absolute value oh forgot the x one third x 
minus a this is between positive 10 and negative 10 first you add a on each side right so this is a minus then you plus a plus a plus a uh, you have one third x in the middle 18 and then a negative 2 and then to get rid of that one third in the middle you have to multiply each side by 3 that's how you get rid of the one third right and then you have x this is a 54 this is a negative 6 and then this is your answer all right so this is a solution set is a set of number between negative 6 and 54 but you do not include the two ends and then number line negative 6 54 skip the rest of the number so open circle open circle between them the interval parenthesis negative 6 54 parenthesis all right let's do one more and then we finish up this video uh, let's pick a yellow absolute value 6 plus 3 over 4 x this is how about or less than or equal to 26 so we have the stuff inside the absolute value is between 26 and negative 26 so first we subtract 6 on each side so we have 3 over 4 x in the middle 26 minus 6 negative 26 minus 6 all right and then how do you get rid of the 3 over 4 to get rid of the 3 over 4 you have to multiply its reciprocal which is 4 over 3 so you have to multiply each side by 4 over 3 that only change the outlook of the inequality but the value but uh, the inequality uh, is still true so in the middle you have x and then uh, the 20 and the 3 that cannot be cancelled then i will keep an 80 over 3 and then uh, the 32 and the 3 are uh, that that cannot be cancelled so we have to take negative 32 times 4 that is negative 128 divided by 3 then this is your solution set you don't need to uh, approximate this in, into decimal so this is your solution set and then the number line draw a straight line skip the rest of the numbers just write the two numbers that we want to see over 3 and then 80 over 3 so using a solid circle because there is an equal using a solid circle because there is an equal so between them and then you have square bracket negative 128 over 3 comma 80 over 3 so that's how you deal with uh in that's how you deal with absolute value inequality this is case two so the case two is you have a less than and the less the steeper side is facing the inequality all right the steeper is like an arrow pointing at the inequality and this is only case one so in the next video case two we will do a greater than so that is the end of this video if you think my instruction is helpful let me know in the comment below like the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so appreciate your help and support see you all in the next one signing off for now